yes i'm live now welcome once again to another new video this is santu sahu and you are watching sahu's tutorial good evening everyone do join quickly this is <coughs> okay i think everything is okay and i am clearly audible to everyone and this ppt is also clearly visible to everyone please do let me know if everything is okay okay good evening everyone i hope you are all well let's begin the session without wasting your time those who are watching for the first time please make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification and to stay updated please do join the telegram channel that is santu sahu ugc net so here i am going to begin this again this mahamarathon session this is the part 3 in the morning session i have completed two sessions so this is the part 3 do join quickly i'll be starting with question number 91 i'll be starting with question number 91 So here is the question number 91 on your screen please do answer the first question is that which play of the tani which play of the tani has that is mohes dattani has homosexuality as a theme your options are bravely for the queen seven steps around the fire tara final solution so bravely for the queen uh, seven steps around the fire tara and final solution so here the right answer is homosexuality the theme homosexuality can be found in the work called that is your uh, bravely for the queen bravely for the queen is the drama and you know the first Mahesh Dattani was the first dramatist who, who received the Saitya Academy Award. the first playwright first Indian playwright <coughs> to receive the Saitya Academy Award for his final solution for his final solution so bravely for the queen is the here right answer theme of homosexuality can be found and here is the explanation of this answer that it is said in present day Bangalore that is the novel the, the, the drama that is bravely for the queen in one of twin houses on an executive estate where sisters Dolly and Alka so the sisters they are the sisters Alka and Dolly they have married to the two brothers one is Jitan and Nitin they are two brothers two brothers and two sisters actually they have married each other so it has three acts Ba is the mother who is in the upstairs he is bedridden the mother is Ba who is in the upstairs bedridden it has three acts one is women second one is the men and free for all the play depicting issue of homosexuality in a very bold manner as well as suffering on the wild suffering of the wife due to her husband turning out to be a gay so there is the uh, homosexual the gay kind of uh, relationship between these two brothers that is Jitin and Nitin Alka's anguish and agony is aggravated when she comes to know that Nitin her husband has homosexual relationship with her brother Jitin. And here imp another important work by Mahesh Dattani that is final solution. Mahesh Dattani is a famous Indian dramatist with versatile themes and he is the first Indian English writer to receive the prestigious the first English uh, writer means here it's playwright or dramatist to receive the prestigious Saitya Academy Award for his play final solution where he dealt with the concept of communal conflict in India and it has also three acts the play each mainly about the traditional theme the conflict between the hindus and muslim who is the protagonist of final solution here is daksa or hardika daksa or hardika is the protagonist of this final solution for that work mahesatani received the Saitya academy award okay now here is question number 21 balram halabai is the protagonist of which novel you everybody know this is an easy question the white tiger the white devil man eater of malgudi the english teacher so you all know that the Mandra Malgudi, English teacher, these, these two were written by R.K. Narayan, R.K. Narayan, whereas the White Devil is Vittoria, who is the Vittoria, who is the titular White Devil is Vittoria. John Webster, John Webster's Vittoria, the White, <coughs> hmm. it's John Webster, as you can this work, the White Devil, where Vittoria is the titular character, hmm. Vittoria, and here the white tiger Balram Halwai is the right answer. Got it? 40th Booker Prize Balram Halwai narrates his life in a letter. Riksa Pular, Sanaba Riksa Pular. And here you must have to remember that also that Balram Halwai narrates his life in a letter. Okay, this is the important thing. Balram Halwai is narrating his life in a letter written in a seven consecutive nights. Written in a seven consecutive nights and addressed to the Chinese premier Wen Jiabo. Wen Jiabo. He is addressing this letter to Chinese premier 
when Jiabo, in his letter, Balram explaining how the son of a rickshaw puller escaped a life of servitude to become a successful businessman, describing himself as an entrepreneur. Balram finds a job driving Asok, so he was a driver of Asok, the son of one Lakshman God's landlords, and Balram moves to New Delhi with Asok and his wife Pinky Madam. Balram then decides to killing Asok will be the only way to escape India rooster coop. So here, this is the metaphor of rooster coop. The metaphor of rooster coop can be found in that novel, The White Tiger. How these roosters were being slaughtered, killed. And this is the condition of the poor people. And from that bad condition, he has emerged. He has he was become. He has he was able to succeed, and he has become now a successful businessman. So he is narrating his story. The rooster coop, the metaphor of rooster coop, Balram's metaphor for describing the oppression of India's poor, how the poor has been oppressed by the by the, by the aristocratic people, by the society, just as rooster in the coop that mar, uh, uh, at the market was themselves get slaughtered one by one, but are unable to unwilling to break out of the cage. After killing Asok by stabbing him with a broken bottle and stealing the large bribe Asok was carrying with him, Balram moves to Bangalore, where he bribes the police in order to help us start in order to in order to help start his own taxi business. So he was able to even start his own taxi business by bribing by bribing the police. Okay, now here the white devil, I told that white devil, the story is loosely based on an event in Italy, 30 years prior to the play's composition. Here, this is the murder of Vittoria, Vittoria Akramboni in Padua on 22 December. So here the white devil is the titular character Vittoria. Vittoria is the white devil, the titular character, it's by John Webster. And it's the white devil centers on the love affair between the Duke of Bracciano and Vittoria Corombona. Two of the plays many unscrupulous characters. Hmm. And despite her role as a vicious heroine, Victoria elicits sympathy in her attempt to endure a deeply corrupt society. And even the play explores the difference between the reality of people and the way they depict themselves as good, white, or pure. Chalo. Next question. Which play of Dattani is about the plights of the eunuchs? Plights of the eunuchs, seven steps around the fire, Tara bravely for the queen final solution. Plight of the eunuchs here it's it's seven steps around the fire. It's seven steps around the fire is the right answer. Okay, seven steps around the fire. We are watching seven steps around the fire is the right answer. Mayas Dattan is seven steps around the fire is a play about the plight of the eunuchs. In this play, Dattani has pitied Hidras, that is Hidra, against the powerful elite class of the society. Okay, Dattani is pitying. Okay, it's, it's pitying the Hidras against the powerful elite class of the society, the eunuchs. Seven Steps Around the Fire by Mohesh Dattani. Tara is also another important character, an important novel. Okay, what is the name of Miss Havisham's manner? Miss Havisham, you all know this character appearance in Great Expectation. Okay, Great Expectations, Great Expectation, Miss Havisham's manner. That is the manner means here is the mansion, the decaying mansion. Okay, so this character Miss Havisham is from Great Expectation by Charles Dickens, where the Philip Pirip, where Philip Pirip is the main protagonist, it's a building novel. novel. Building from a novel where the characters like Abel Mackwich, the convict, appears, or leak. Abel Mackwich, Estella is the character as well. The love affair between Estella and the, uh, the, the main character, Philip Pirib. A Satis house, exactly. Satis house is the name of Miss Havisham. Great expectations. Estella, great. Chalo. Well done. He never... What is the Harvard's nickname for Peep? In, in, in Great Expectation. In Great Expectation. Chalo. Harvard is a character in. Great expectation. So which name? Which name he gave? Which name he gave? Peep. So Philip Peep ka jo full form kya tha? Full name kya tha? That is Philip Peep. Philip Peep. Its ka its ka nickname kya hua hai? Peep Peep hua hai baad mein. ठीक है. Harvard ka nickname kya tha? Harvard. What nickname did Harvard give to Peep? Straight handle the tickler the camel. Its the right answer is handle. Okay. Handel was the name that 
Harbard, another character from Great Expectation, who gave the name Thief as Handel. So Handel is the right answer. Chalo. Handel, in Great Expectations, Harbard's, Harbard Pocket gives Thief the nickname of Handel in reference to his upbringing as a blacksmith. Okay, so how why he is giving this name? He is giving this name in reference to his upbringing as a blacksmith and a Handel's wax, the harmonious blacksmith. Okay, Joe, Joe, Joe was the forest of Arden appears in which of the following play of Shakespeare? EG1, quickly do answer. The forest of Arden appear here. EG1, Jack's the melancholy also appear okay remember the jacks the melancholy appear in this okay the forest of arden uh, in the in this work as well jacks the melancholy also appear so here it's the as you like it is the right answer isn't it as you like it okay remember along with that along with that jacks the melancholy also appear remember that in that forest of arden and here he also talks about Shakespeare. the seven uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. yeah well done sutrita we're also right here hmm. And he's saying that he, all the life is all the our life is like a stage. Chalo, this one. Balzac of India, Jola of India. That is, he is comparing. Uh, he uh, here uh, Shakespeare is comparing the stage. Okay. Our drama. The entrance is very similar to that uh, birth and. When his exit is compared to death, the entrance is compared to the birth and the exit is compared to death. All the world is like a stage and we are merely players. We are acting like those actors. Here it is Balzac of India, Jola of India. We have done it many a time. No, 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 it's Mulkas Anand, Jola of India, Baljag of India, and Dickens of East, Dickens of East, Dickens of East as well, so Dickens of East as well, Dickens of East as well, it's Mulkas Anand, Dickens of East as well, that is representing the realistic society, representing the realistic society. The poor class. No, 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 no. It's not Arkana. It's Mulkas Anand. Dance of Eunuchs is a poem by. Dance of Eunuchs is a poem by. Kamala Das, A.K. Ramanujan, Arundhuti Subramaniam, and here Tarudad. Dance of Eunuchs. Easy one. Quickly do answer. I have some actually some uh, offline class. So 6:45 में हम end करेंगे. 6:45 में हम end करेंगे. I have some offline class actually. So it's 31. Okay, we'll continue for 15 minutes. And then after 10 p.m., we will continue the series. Dance of the Eunuchs. Dance of Eunuchs is a poem by whom? Quickly, it's by Kya hua? It's by Kamala Das. Exactly. It's by Kamala Das, Dance of Eunuchs. Chalo. The Dance of the Eunuchs is a quite symbolic and perplexing poem written by this great poetess, the Indian confessional poet, a victim of patriarchal society. A victim of patriarchal society that is here, Dance of the Eunuchs, written by Kamala Das. Okay, it's Kamala Das. Kamala. Chalo. Which of the following poems by Nizi Musical? Yeah, exactly, Sujarita, you are right, absolutely. Presents a rural Indian village of village and its people throwing light on their superstition, superstitions, temperament, and outlook on life. Easy one, quickly do answer. Do like the session as well. Session ko like bhi kar dena, share bhi kar dena, thik hai. Or subscribe bhi kar lena, thik hai. Here is question number 99.
चलो इट्स नाइट ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियन एक्जैक्टली इवन इट्स नाइट ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियन इज द राइट आंसर नाइट ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियन superstition temperament and outlook that is night of the scorpion exactly go road the movement was coined by the term movement this is the movement okay easy one philip larkin kingsley amis jd scotts dj and right kisne kiya tha 99a okay got it got it so here is question number 100 who coined the term the movement <coughs> after this examination so okay after you listen at exam I will <coughs> take classes of every writer. Every day I will be uh, covering one writer hmm, with their works. Every day I will be covering one character, uh, one writer, one by one. After six December, it's by J D. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's by J D. Scott. J.D. Scott. The movement was a term coined in 1954 by J.D. Scott, literary editor of the Spectator, and he was editor of the Spectator as well. Who were the other writers of that movement? Movement: Philip Larkin, Kingsley Amis, Donald Dave, D.J. and Wright, John Wayne, Elizabeth Jennings, Tom Gunn. Okay, they are also the uh, they are also the uh, writer of the movement period. The movement they are also known as the movement poets. Who is The writer of the essay of simulation and dissimulation. Here as well, here as well, here as well. But we will be providing the PDF to the paid by students. Okay, got it. But we will be providing the PDF to the paid by students. Just like I have started so far, like that, I will be covering every writer. Got it? Got it? Okay. Here is. Chalo. It's Francis Bacon. Yesterday I did na so far. So like that, okay, I will be covering every writer. Chalo. In the essay, Bacon talks about the strategy of deceit, an act of deceiving someone. When to apply? When to Avoid. Back on discussion that simulation and dissimulation both are convenient and advantageous, but the fruitful use of them obliges brain power and a strong heart. Chalo. Here is Bhattik, Horace Walpole, the monk William Beckford, Italian the Matthew Lewis, Matthew Lewis, the Castle of Otranto and Radcliffe. Chalo. Match करना है चलो. इसको बड़ा करते हैं. answer if you want to succeed if you want to succeed okay you need to also revise the things okay these are the things that you will definitely forget these are the things you will definitely forget that's why revision is the key along with reading okay text along with reading the summaries an important points you need to also revise your things okay if you do not revise okay definitely you will get you will be getting troubled so here the, you, you see that the castle of otranto hores walpol chalo it a monk by matthew lewis ek kya ho gaya fir se Just a minute. बीच बीच में क्या हो जाता है मेरे को मालूम नहीं पड़ता है ये क्या हो गया एक बार रुको
just a minute Okay, so we are doing here, here, Chalo. so here, Vatag is actually William Beckford, where is Walpole, the castle of Otranto, Matthew Lewis, the monk, and Anne Radcliffe, the Italian, William Beckford, Vatag. Okay, got it. Chalo. So, yeah, D is the right answer probably. Jo bhi hai. What is Walpole? Kya likha hai? Castle of Otranto. Otranto. William Beckford, that is your Vatek. Matthew Lewis, the monk. And Andrew Cliff, the Italian. Chalo. So, yeah, this one probably. Chalo. Adventures of Augie March. Kisna likha hai? Adventures of Augie March. Sol Bello. Sol Bello, exactly go dot. Adventures of Augie Maja Picarex number by Sol Bello. And exactly Suchorita. It features the eponymous, it features the eponymous Augie Mars who grows up during the Great Depression. And it is also an example of Bildung's Roman. Remember that. So, as a novel centering on the quest for identity, it has been also compared to novels as diverse as the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Moby Dick, and the Catherine the Rye. Who wrote the Cather in the Rai? Write in the comment box. The Cather in the Rai is a work by whom? The Cather in the Rai is a work by whom? Write in the comment box. Published in 1916, course in general linguistics regarded as the standing starting point of structural linguistic and approach to linguistics that flourished in European in European United States. Okay, after this session, okay, I'll be starting at 10, 10, 10, 10, like that. Okay, 10, 10 p.m. Okay. After doing the offline classes, after eating dinner, and then I will be starting another session. Chalo. Course in general linguistics is a book. J.D. Salinger. Exactly. Catherine the Rai, J.D. Salinger. Well done. Well done, good. It's J.D. Salinger, Catherine the Rai. Very good. Who wrote the who wrote the Coral Island? Coral Island that had influenced that had influenced. Uh, the, the, that is the Lord of the Flies by William Golding, published in 1954. Who wrote the Coral Island? It's again C. Ferdinand Sassur. Chalo, linguistic. Rebecca Walker's essay, Before Hip Hop, was Hip Hop, is a satirical essay. It's a paradoxical essay, reflective essay, contro, uh, conversational essay. So Rebecca Walker's before hip hop was a hip hop is a it's a reflective essay okay about his childhood okay thinking about his the early days thinking about his early, early thinking about her early days so this is a reflective essay here reflective essay 
before hip hop is a reflective vessel because wakar is reflecting back to the time in her life and acknowledging the impact this experience had her in her life so this is before hip hop is a reflective essay by rebecca wakar who has a, some some the uh, who were some of the leading angry young men angry young men in meshe It's it's not look here. Ezra Pound is not, Orden is not, Samuel Baker is not. So here, John Osborn, John Brain, John Wayne, Kingsley Amis, they are the angry young men of 1950s. चलो जॉन ऑसबोर्न जॉन ब्रेन जॉन वेन किंगसले आमिज सो ए इज द राइट आंसर कोरल आइलैंड बाय आर एम वैलेंटाइन कोरल आइलैंड कोरल आइलैंड बाय आर एम वैलेंटाइन आर एम वैलेंटाइन ओके लाइक दैट आर एम वैलेंटाइन एक बार देख लेना ठीक है कोरल आइलैंड आर एम वैलेंटाइन है स्पेलिंग देख लेना वैलेंटाइन का ठीक है आर एम वैलेंटाइन दैट आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड विलियम गोल्डिंग टू राइट द 1954 वर्क दैट इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द फ्लाइज चलो हु हैज क्वाइंट द फ्रेश स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्सियसनेस वी हैव डन इट आल्सो अर्लियर इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ओके रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन वेरी क्विकली डू आंसर स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्सियसनेस कोरल आयरन कोरल आयरन बाय आर एम वैलेंटाइन आफ्टर रीडिंग दैट बुक ओके आफ्टर रीडिंग दैट आफ्टर रीडिंग दैट कोरल आइलैंड ही हैड विलियम गोल्डिंग हैड रिटन दिस वर्क चलो हेयर द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली विलियम जेम्स इज इन इट विलियम जेम्स हेयर विलियम जेम्स हैज रिटन हैज क्वाइंट द फ्रेज स्ट्रीम ऑफ कंसर्सनेस इज इन इट विलियम जेम्स चलो हम्म What are the themes associated with Krishna Rossetti's poem Goblin Market? Got it, Sujita. A female desire, a female autonomy, sisterhood, and all of them. In principle of psychology, exactly. In principle of psychology is the work where he has coined William James has coined uh, your uh, stream of consciousness. Here, Goblin Market. Here we find the character Laura. Okay, Laura and Lizzie. Goblin Market. Chalo, female desire tha, female autonomy bhi tha. Sister would be the all of them actually, all of them, all of these actually. What are the themes? Laura and Lizzie are the characters from Goblin Market, one of the classics of children literature. You must read that. One of the classics of, and even question, you just question have also come okay, from this work, Goblin Market, Christian Rossetti. All the classics of children literature, all of them are the themes of that work. Goblin Market envisions a world in which women can, through the power of sisterhood, gain so. Through the power of sisterhood, gain at least some measure of control over their fates and a degree of independence. So autonomy, a degree of independence. That is autonomy. Okay, a degree of independence here. The cautionary example of Jenny shows how women deprived of sisterhood support will be consumed figuratively and literally. And the marriage market. Laura and Lizzy cannot completely retreat to a world without men, but through mutual aid. they can retain their autonomy but through the mutual aid they can retain their autonomy and happiness goblin market therefore can read be powerfully submersive text subversive text which exposes the strength uh, the strange hold of men goblin or the other wise on the discourse of economic gender and sexuality and desire chalo from among the following identify the genre that publishes articles i'll be completing till 110 and then i'll be starting another session Yeah. So here, from among the following, identify the journal that publishes articles on English language and teaching and learning. Do join after ten ten actually. Okay, I'll be conducting another session after ten p.m. I'll be ending it here at six fifty. I have I'm already late.
सो आई बी एंडिंग विथ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन वन जीरो चलो क्या राइट आंसर इच इट्स टेसन क्वार्टर ले ठीक है टेसन क्वार्टर इज टेस इज राइट आंसर चलो सी इज द राइट आंसर चलो हेरिस हेरिस लास्ट क्वेश्चन ओके हु रोड एग्नस ग्रे दिस इज द डेब्यू नॉवेल दिस इज द डेब्यू नॉवेल ऑफ दैट राइटर इमिली ब्रॉन्टी चार्लोट ब्रॉन्टी एनी ब्रॉन्टी जेनास्टन किसने लिखा है दिस थ्री सिस्टर हेयर चार्लोट ब्रॉन्टी इमिली ब्रॉन्टी चार्लोट ब्रॉन्टी जेन आयर इमिली ब्रॉन्टी चार्लोट ब्रॉन्टी जेन आयर ओके इमिली ब्रॉन्टी उदरिंग हाइट्स एंड एन ब्रॉन्टी इज एग्नस ग्रे रिमेंबर दैट चार्लोट ब्रॉन्टी जेन आयर इमिली ब्रॉन्टी उदरिंग हाइट्स वेयर एज एन ब्रॉन्टी is known for agnes gray is a debut novel excellent it c is the right answer here is explanation i will be ending with this agnes gray what is the subtitle agnes gray ka subtitle kya tha okay it's a novel is a debut novel of the english author and bronte writing under the pen name of acton bell so what is the what is the what is the sub, uh, what is the pseudonym what is the pseudonym of the pen name of uh, that is the annie bronte is acton bell acton bell is the Acton Bell is actually the pen name of Anne Bronte. Agnes Grey is also an autobiographical novel with strong parallels between its events and Anne's own life as governess. So, its Agnes Grey novel is the debut novel. Well done. So, I'll be ending it. Session. I'll be ending the session here. Okay. Keep reading, and I will catch up you soon after 10 p.m. today only. Chalo.